Hello friends, welcome to YouTube Expert channel. Today we'll be going to learn about how to use alignment in ANS for Word documents drafting by using paragraph alignment, by using simply the indents, and by using first line indent as well as hanging indent, and the last but not, not the least, using bottom indent to move or shift image. So let's start with the document over here in the Word which I have prepared earlier. What happens generally, we just click on space and start shifting the first line where we would like to have it to be started. And the, another thing we do generally is we just click on the first line and click on tab to ensure the word or first line should get shifted to the right side where we would like to have it. But we have more good ways in order to make a alignment and indents and the third general way is you just click on the alignments in the home tab after selecting the paragraph left bottom right and equal so that's all three general ways which we are using in our document preparation and drafting as well but friends here we also have to know about indents once you select the paragraph, you see here we have pointed the mouse cursor increase indent. You click on here and you see the paragraph is moving towards right side. So that's the easiest way after selecting the paragraph, you can use indent in the home tab. Now the question is, if you wanted your first line of the paragraph, to be shifted to the right side and have some space in front so you can go to ruler and on the top part of the ruler it is called first line indent and the bottom part is hanging indent and its lower part is left indent so after selecting paragraph we just click on first line indent and we move it to the right side so this way our paragraph starts from here this can be done after selecting the whole word paragraph documents because generally what we have seen is in clerical documents and in corporate documents they have used this kind of formats where the first line has started after giving inch a two inch space now friends if you would like to shift your second line or the third line or the consecutive lines you still have to select the paragraph and then go to hanging indent here you have to shift it where up to you would like to shift the paragraph consecutive lines depending on your requirement so that's the way you can use indents in more effective way for your better work productivity as well sometimes what happens you also have to use image and you wanted to use this image to be in the center right or left so generally what we do we just click on the image and go to page layout and here in the indent section we just give it left right by clicking the sizes but here you don't have to go over somewhere you just have to click your image and this lower part here is left indent this will help you shift or move the image in the center or at the end wherever you would like to have it so you can see that's how the indent function has worked since we will be got away about first line indent hanging indent and left indent we don't have to rush for anything else i hope you like this video friends please like and share expo youtube channel so i can bring up more videos for you thank you for watching my videos